In this video, I will show how to draw a scalloped shape monument. Um, first thing that I do is build my base. So I'm just using the rectangle tool, and I'll go 48 inches by 6 inches. And I will fill it in with 20% black. I actually prefer to use the keyboard shortcuts because they're faster. Um, so rock pitching would be number 5 on the keyboard. However, there isn't a shortcut for taking off the, uh, the fill. Or the, sorry, the outline. So I will come over here and right click on the outline to get rid of the outline. I prefer not to have outlines just because I think it looks more realistic once we apply the granite fills. <coughs> so in order to draw our scallop, what I'll use is the polygon tool. So that may sound a little bit weird, but that's what we're going to do. So I will first draw a polygon. And it doesn't matter. I just click and drag to make one first, and then I'll size it. So I'm going to size it to 36 inches by 24 inches. And let's see here. All right, so then I'm going to drag this down to the bottom. Come on. Down. Center it. So I shift selected the um, the base so that I could center it to the base. Now this is going to be the overall size, so we might end up changing the size later on. But let's go ahead and see what happens here. Um, polygons, as you add more points, then it changes the shape a bit. So actually, it ended up changing the size as well. So that's okay. So we're just going to add more sides, and let's see here. I actually like 15. Um, it ends up being uh, angled down right there pretty nicely, so I think we'll go ahead and stick with 15 and call it good. Okay, so the what we're going to do is take our shape tool and if we change this to a curve if we take the curve and drag it in oh, that's not quite what I wanted to do that's uh, only doing half of it so what we'll do is we'll get rid of this middle node double click and gets rid of that node so then we'll click on this it's already a curve and we'll click and drag that in. You'll see what that does is it creates our scallop effect. So you can just click and drag it however you want it to be. And then what we'll do is we'll select our die, shift select, or sorry, our base, shift select the die, and then we'll trim that so that it cuts away. Um, you'll notice here at the bottom there's actually a piece that overlapped and came down below so we'll select that again and hit control K or object break apart and we'll delete that one and we can take this fill it in with 30 per board and right click to get rid of my outline so now we have a nice scalloped border uh, for our monument and that's using polygon uh, that did however change the size it's still 24 inches tall but it changed the width so I'm just going to come back here and type in 36 that way it'll go back to being 36 inches 